Good morning, beloved, and welcome to our Sunday morning School of Wisdom. I thank you for joining us this morning, even on television, uh, on uh, in the internet. And we'll be having a great time in the Word of God. We'll be continuing actually from Friday night, and trusting the Spirit of the Lord to give us some good revelation from the Word of God. Our scripture, uh, as we use, was First Corinthians chapter fifteen, and we go right back there, and we left off actually at um let me pick up at verse 51 behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye after the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right, now let me just, before we go forward, let me just state a few things so that we need to be clear on this. The Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinth, he said, I want to show you a mystery. A mystery is something that baffles the understanding, the human understanding. Why? Because it defies natural order. We refer to things as mysterious when we can't understand them. In other words, they, they don't, they're not congruent with science, uh, as known science. So it's a mystery because we say, well, I don't understand how, this is a mystery. Is that which the human mind can't understand because there's no precedence, there's no scientific evidence for it. And so, you know, because what science has done, they have concluded that the little they know is what everything is. <laughs> you know? And, and uh, they've come to the place where they even think they should be revered because, you know, they are the ones who are the authority. But they're no authority in anything. Science is not authorities in anything. What they do is they discover things over and over. And then you need to know scientists don't make any things actually. No, make things. What they do, they discover that if this and this is mixed, you will get this result. Yes. Everything was created by God. Yes, sir. So they discovered if you if you take an atom and make it unstable, you can have an explosion. Yes. And they call it atomic bomb. Yes. But they didn't make the atom. <laughs> and they didn't make it in a way that it can become unstable. That is how God made it. That's correct. They discovered it. So yes, they discovered sir. some stuff. Well, this one is a mystery because this one was never discovered. Mm. Suppose I'm going to show you a mystery. Ah, this thing is not something you could understand. And you wonderful. need to understand and, and think of it that, one, we, we receive God by faith. Okay. Huh? Receive God by faith. Yes, sir. The Bible says, he didn't come to him, must believe that he is. Yes. We believe God is. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, because we believe God is, it has affected us in a positive light. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The people who believe God is, it has affected them positively. Wonderful. You understand? Some people don't believe God is. Mm -hmm. Scripture has a word for them. <laughs> but I said, the fool has said inside yes. there is no God. Yes. So Paul is saying, I'm going to show you a mystery. You ought to understand the people we are wondering, what can we believe in Christ and all that, but what's our destiny, what's our end? So pause, I'm going to show you a mystery. I'm going to show you something. Listen, we shall not ask sleep. Remember Hallelujah. all the things that was happening. Hallelujah. Some people were falling asleep. And they have this hope. And they were falling asleep and they're wondering what will happen to us. You know, well, if we, if we die, they call it death. What happens is the end. So Paul... The Apostle Paul, by revelation, is revealing to these people what's actually is it, what's the deal. He said, I'm going to show you a mystery. I'm going to show you something that the natural mind is not going to comprehend, and science does not understand it, and they could not explain it. You know, I like to do some research, and I've seen some phenomena that can't be explained. Most of us, we, we read and we looked at Wim Hof, 
Then she referred to as the Ice Man. The man climbed Mount Everest in his bare shorts. But that is not a natural phenomenon. The man was put in ice for forget how, how many hours, put in a, in a container, and ice was put on him without clothes. He has the Guinness World Book World, um, World Record on him, and stayed in there for how many hours until the ice that was placed around his body melted. He was injected with a bacterial virus that would normally kill people. And he recovered quickly from it. Yes. And then he said, people thought he was a freak of nature. And he said, I can teach people to do this. Yes. It's teachable. Yes. <laughs> and he taught some people to do it. To be injected with the same virus and everything. Hmm. Now, it tells me that the body has more potential than we think. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now guess what, the scientists won't talk much about this because they can't understand this. So, things like that, this is a freak of nature, ah, that's not real. But let me tell you, one of the things he says, the mom says, it comes down to your thinking. It come down, comes down to what you think. So what's your thinking? Thinking. What's your thinking? Well, we saw, and I'm happy for it because it's, a, it's something in our time that we can look at and see. And, and let me tell you this, for those who are listening online and those who are here and perhaps never knew. He said it's possible to be in the ice. Well, I proved it possible. Yeah. Because I went to the bathtub with ice on me and stayed there for an hour or more. And, and uh, they were, literally a change took place in my body. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I was referred to as what was called a cold subject. If you have any exposure to cold, you start sniffing and next you have a fever. From the time to the breathing exercises that we learned, I have never had a fever. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Never had a fever. Could be able to bathe any hour wet my head and never got sick. Why? Because something changed in my yes. body. Amen. No, listen to me. Something changed. Yes. Yeah. Something changed. Yes. Something changed. Yes. Something changed. yes. And my Bible tells me the same spirit yeah. that raised Christ from the dead yes. dwells in me. Yes. He's going to quicken or going bring change to my mortal body. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, sir. Paul is describing this change in his maximum way, in a maximum way. And he's saying, listen to me. I show you a mystery. Mm -hmm. We shall not ask you, but we shall all be changed. Yes. Hallelujah. Beloved, this change will be nothing like what we have can experience. That's a, that's that's so that's from the school. Uh, uh, yes. Program to that. You understand me? Yes. That's a boy scout in comparison with the change we're talking about. Praise God. The change that the Holy Ghost will bring will be so phenomenal. Yeah. Yes. He said, We shall all be changed. Yes, sir. No, not some people. No, some of us who did the breathing and exercise and all of that, we were able to withstand the ice and so. But the Bible says, we shall all be changed. Yes, no, it took us time to breathe and all that, but that's not what the scripture is saying. The scripture says, in the twinkling yes. of an eye, yes. in a moment. Yes. Yes. In a moment. In one moment. Mortal yes. shall put on immortal. You know, there's a young man in our, in our ministry. He does something that I don't understand until now. And that he, he holds the electric wire. So you can have a saw here, electric saw, and hold the wire, two wires, and spin. The saw begins to spin. And we, those who know Brother Sherman, he, yeah. he does that. He 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 can, he comes and he to fix something. Say, boy, that's not. It's not hot. See, it's hot. 
and he takes his hot wine, he touches them together. <laughs> no, I don't know how he does that. I saw um, this guy used to have um, this program, Superhuman, and there was a guy in India who did that thing with whole wires and light bulbs and hold it and all of that. I saw Sharvin do that. No, I didn't know. I don't know how he does it. But you know, I don't even know how he does it. Uh -huh. But what I'm saying, there's some phenomena in him that is different yes. that caused this to happen. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. God is helping us to adjust our minds because we can't even understand. I, I thank God that Jesus came and he demonstrated some stuff. You see, unlike people, lots of people don't even believe some of the things Jesus did. That's true. But I believe them. Praise God. I believe he walked yes. in the water. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. That's what the scripture says. Yes, sir. And not only he walked, Peter walked. Yes, yes sir. Therefore, Peter was changed in a moment. Yes. Uh -huh. But the thing is, he changed and he changed back. Yes. But this time, there ain't no change in mind. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Lord appears, the Bible says we'll be like him. Yes. So the change will take place, and we will not, we're not going to change back. Amen. Glory to God. Now, you see some phenomena in scripture that you have to wonder, well, wow. Think of the three Hebrew boys. Yeah. What the Bible says? Yeah. They were in the fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Jesus was in there with them. Yes. So when the Bible said Jesus, he said, oh yeah, the Bible said was the son of God. The, 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 the fourth man was like the son of God. Yes. Yeah. So that was Jesus. We know it was he in the yeah, fire. Man. But I want you to think. Fire consumes everything. Yes. yes. But it could, it's not consuming them. Mm -hmm. Why? Because something happened. Yes. yes. I want you to understand what your change is talking about. Change, You're yes. talking about having a fireproof body. Yes. yes. You can't drown. Uh -huh. You can't be born. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. They can't born you. They can't drown you. Let's listen, listen. The scriptures speak about Philip. Yes. The evangelist. Yes. Uh -huh. And we went down to Ethiopia and you know. Uh -huh. And then in a moment, he's gone. Yes. The scientific community is trying to find a way that to, to, to literally call, uh, it's called uh, uh, it's at a molecular, molecular level they want to move objects from one place to another there's a track um, something teleportation not teleportation is another thing they use yeah, but no it, it's something else they use another term. but it's to, to get things to move from, in a molecular way from one point to another point. All the molecules then reform in another place. They're fighting hard to get it done. Philip it up in Jesus, wherever it was. Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. It means that when this, this body, you can't talk about the change you're talking about, you need to understand what's supposed to happen with you. This body that you'll have will not be limited by time and space. Yeah. yeah. You could imagine that you don't need a visa to go anywhere. That's right. <laughs> You could just show up at your family wherever. Uh -huh. yeah. you, 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 you understand what we're talking yes. about? Yes. By a thought. By a thought. That it, the fastest recorded travel is the travel is, is the speed of light. Yeah. When you, you travel, you see a thought. Yes. I want you to get excited because you didn't yes. understand what's happening. Yes. This, this is not. This is what will happen for us. You'll be traveling at the speed of thought. Hallelujah. At the speed of thought. Hallelujah. This is faster than the speed of light. Oh. Yeah. At the speed of thought. Amen. So so you can be here and say, Let me check out Mars. Are you on Mars? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Could I tell you another thing? Yeah. You only know space suit. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Because you change, yes. it means that you could live on the water. Yes. And you could live in the air. Yes. You could live in any temperature. Yes, sir. You go to a hostile planet. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you, oh, hallelujah. Because you're indestructible. Yes. In other words, that someone who had one problem was kryptonite. Yes. You won't have no problem. Amen. There'll be no problem. We literally, we be you, you need to understand what's going to happen. 
The Bible says in a moment. When you hear this, you want to say, even so, Lord, you just come. Yes. Amen. Because I don't know about you, beloved. I long to really have the ultimate change. Amen. We are changing every day from glory to glory. We are changing. I know my body has changed. I know that uh, I, there was a point I couldn't see without glasses. And then a change came. Yes. I was healed of that condition. Amen. Now I don't need to wear glasses. And for those viewing on television, this is not reading glasses. It's just because you have all the lights in, in my face that we are recording. And you need to have something to reflect the light out of your eyes. But it's not reading glasses. This is driving glasses in the night, night, night driving. And those who know, know what we're talking about, you see. But I can really find this find this spring. Wonderful. Yeah. That change took place over 18 years ago. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo. Now we're talking about the ultimate change. Mm -hmm. When Hallelujah. no disease, no this no sickness, no disease. You're super. Glory to God. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Superman has nothing on you. <laughs> Yeah. You understand? Yes, sir. Be because he was, they say he was fast than a speeding bullet. Not as fast as thought. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand? Yes. Look at somebody and say, we shall be changed. We shall be changed. You, you see, we never preach these things because, I don't know, and so persons think that this whole church thing is so... You're wasting our time. No, no, it's just not a waste of time. The scripture says, in a moment, mm -hmm. in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. Amen. The dead Hallelujah. shall be raised incorruptible. Amen. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. Yes. How did that come be raised? <laughs> How Jesus raised. Ah. Yes, yes. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. In other words, incorruptible means it cannot be ever, it can never be decay in the body anymore. Yes. You understand that? Yes, sir. This is a fantastic one. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. You, 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 nothing. What is you saw your bullet? Go catch it. You can let it pass through whatever you choose to do. <laughs> you can digest it. <laughs> But it's exciting. Yes, sir. No, the funny thing with, with some people don't believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. Yeah. I believe what God is saying. Yes, sir. I believe it is true. Yes. I am looking forward to it. Yeah. And I said we shall not all sleep. I'm glad that all everybody will sleep. And I listen, I believe we're the generation, I believe with all my heart, we're the generation who will experience this alive. Yes. I believe with all my heart that we are the generation yes. who will experience this. I believe so. Now somebody said, well, I don't want Christ to come now because there you are know, so many things I want to do. Let me give you like, let me tell you something, beloved. What you want to do with that inferior body you're living in? I will give up everything in this world to have this change you just about to start about. That's the ultimate. What you could be missing when you are raised incorruptible, when this mortal put on immortality, you are an immortal being. You can't die anymore. You can't suffer pain. There's no sickness. There's no disease. 
Whoever having whatever and all, you don't you don't have to worry about that. You're not moving the speed of like moving the speed of thought. You gotta measure like you can't measure thought. What else is there for you to say, you know, I want want this? Want what? When you talk about this, the Bible says we shall detain the moment. Uh, hallelujah. The dead shall be raised first. All, all who die, all raise them back up. Raise them back up. Not with any cancer, with any disease, with in nothing. Perfect body. My God. This, for this corruptible, must put on incorruption. Yes. Listen, yes. this corruptible, what is the corruptible? That which can mm -hmm. decay, can mm -hmm. dissolve. It must put on incorruption. In other words, it yes. will come to base. It can't be corrupted. Amen. Amen. Must. Imagine you, you don't even know pain is. It's incorruptible. Yeah. No, Lord, show me something, you know. Satan always trying to preempt God's plan. Moses was a deliverer. God, he was called to be a deliverer. Satan tried to get him to bring the deliverance it's me by killing people and doing that. Just so I say, hey, who, hey, who make your judge? <laughs> he had to run for his life because he killed an Egyptian. Yes. See, God, don't bring deliverance how we think. Ah, no, man always trying, man always trying to help God. God said, Abraham, you shall have a child. Serious, yeah. let me let me just help him. Yes, yes. But he got in the transaction. <laughs> well, man's still trying to bring change to you and me. Uh -huh. yes. You know what's the you know what's the you know what's the attempt of science to make people immortal? Uh -huh. Yes. They're pursuing that, yes. They are fighting to change your genome, the genetics. All this jokey the thing they're talking about and what they bring, that's their that's the intention. Yes. Yes. To merge us with artificial intelligence. Yes. yes. <laughs> they have plans that they can put things inside of you that can go in and find anything wrong and fix it and all of that. Mm -hmm. They're trying to create immortal beings. They're trying yes. to yes. preempt God. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's the objective, you know? Yes. Say, they say, we're not waiting until you come to bring no change. We can bring change to people. Powerful insight. Lovely. That's what they're doing. Every time. He don't stop. Satan don't stop. He wants to mod he wants to modify because this change is, is modification, is it ultimate yes, modification? Yes, yes. <laughs> but so we shall be changed. Yes, we shall be changed. Hallelujah. What's well, gonna be a change that God's gonna God's gonna work? Yes. That the mortal put on immortality. Mm -hmm. So if we're not just modified. Uh-huh. <laughs> we, we, wonderful, wonderful. We are superfied if I can call them yeah. a kind of word. <laughs> but is that, is that what said, let, let, let somebody fight them for us. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something. The Lord told me this. If you allow the devil to try to modify you, then you don't get this modification. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Mm -hmm. uh, Precisely so. Yes. Philosophy and if you 
You allow anybody to modify your body. By anything they put inside. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And by our thinking, by just by your thinking, your body is modified every day. Amen. It's more than you every morning. Yes, sir. Every morning you wake up, you 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 can create some new a new thought pattern and your life is changed. Amen. You do you know that? Every morning. You have new cells that you can write on and yes. you can train to grow in a certain way yes. every morning. The problem is we think the same thing yesterday that we were thinking. The, today we think we were thinking yesterday. So guess what? We keep this being the same person. But if you just change your thinking, yes. Yes. you are changed. They have shown that if you think a certain way for 21 days, your whole system, listen to me, your system, your physiology is changed. Yeah. No, God made us like that. Amen. Now, the ultimate change is coming with Christ. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost will do some work that we do, it's like the Holy Ghost causing Mary to conceive a child. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will just bring the street, Shazam, be changed. Praise God. But in the meantime, the Lord has given us His Word, and the Word changes us. Yes. 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 When you feast on the word, you are being changed from glory to glory. Exactly, you're being changed. Praise God. But the enemy, he has a plan. He says, ah, well, I'm going to change you. With. Uh -huh. We change you with science. Uh -huh. We modify them. Don't try to modify, try to modify you. Amen. The Holy Ghost is going to modify you Amen. or God has given you your thinking, your the ability to think, the, a mind. You have a mind. And you know what? We have the mind of Christ. Yes. Praise God. That once we engage and allow to work in us, the change begins to begin to take place. Wonderful. We see evidence. Peter was changed in a moment. Yes, sir. He was changed. Yes. We see Peter was changed. A normal man can't walk on water, but Peter walked in the water. Yes, sir. Because a change took place. Yes, sir. Why the change took place? Because the word of God affected his mind. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, when the word of God begins to affect your mind, change will take place. Yes. yes. When you begin yes. to believe the word of God that nothing shall by any means harm you, your body will adjust to that and nothing shall by any means harm you. Yes. But I tell you what, we have listened to more of what can harm us yes, than the Word of God. Yes, sir. So it is sad. Listen, I don't worry about the world. I don't worry about the world. The world has to believe whatever they want to be. Yes. I'm not worried about them. I'm not disturbed over them. But it troubles me when I hear church people yes. who are supposed to believe the Word. Yes. Uh -huh. Because you can't believe a part and not believe a part. If, 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 if Jesus said that nothing shall by any means harm us, if Jesus said nothing shall by any means harm us, yes. is that he's telling the truth or he's lying? That's right. Amen. Or he's crazy. Mm -hmm. But if he's crazy, he can't be my savior. If he's lying, he can't be my savior. Yes. He has to be telling the truth. Praise God. That's why I say, well, how things are still harmless? Because we didn't believe it. Yes. yes. There's evidence in the scripture. Jesus said to Peter, Lord, if you tell me, come. Jesus said, come. Peter started to walk. Yes. Yes. And the Bible said he saw the winds and became afraid. Yes. 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 And what happened? He began to sing. Yes. And Jesus says, oh, you of little yes. faith, why did you doubt? Yes. Yes. yes, to the problem. Yes. We doubted it. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. We, as a matter of fact, the pul rather than people preach from the pulpit and say, hey, this is the truth. You tell, you know what, well, you need to understand, you need to use wisdom because these things, uh, you got all, and all kind of foolishness they go on with. That's yes. right. That's right. 
The scripture is clear. Nothing shall the enemies are not. Hold on. We start to believe it. When you begin to believe it, every day, listen, if you treat yourself to that for 21 days, new cells are created in your, in your brain. Yes. Your physiology changes and nothing shall harm you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise okay, so God. Do you give yourself 21 days to, to grow this? No. You listen to it, enjoy it, and then go home and listen to all what they tell you will happen. <laughs> we turn your television on. Uh -huh. We turn our televisions on. And we listen to all the junk what they tell us. And all what's going to happen. And, all, and a new stream will come out. And this will happen to you. And that will happen to you. And drive fear in your heart. Yeah. And the yeah. word of God becomes of none effect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. It becomes of none effect. Because we are not giving ourselves yes. time to internalize the word of God. Amen. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. Yes. You know what he meant there? He said, I, I rehearsed it over and over. That's why you hide things in your heart. You rehearse it over and over. Praise God. He said, I did not give rest to my night, to my eyes. So I can meditate on the word. Yes. yes. I prevented the night season. That's right. We know that we know the the, 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 the Psalm one what it says. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of mm -hmm. godly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, uh -huh. nor sitteth in the seat of the scorn. Mm -hmm. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate. They are not what we do, we meditate. Yeah, now let me ask you a question. You might hear there. No, you meditate on all we have to say. Who say this? What this person say? What this other one say? What this other one say? That's what we meditate on. Then I. How many COVID cases? <laughs> A man got shot his COVID now. Yes, yes. I don't get it. If you meditate on the word, yes. day and night you'll be changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me tell you something. I challenge you to choose to meditate on God's word. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. What word? The promise that he gave. Thank you, sir. How do I meditate on I read it over and over. Yeah. I rehearse it. Mm -hmm. I learn by heart. Mm -hmm. And then I start to imagine it. Yes. And as I imagine it, I imagine that I am indestructible. Yes. And guess what? Whatever you think, somebody said in something called the secret, whatever you think about, you bring about. Bring about. Yes. Uh -huh. You meditate on what God said day and night. Guess what? You bring it about in your life. Yes. And they are, they are convinced. Now we have evidence that this affects you. Yes. I had to bathe with warm water. And if, it, if I couldn't get warm water, then I would not bathe. Sponge, I remember my brother and I, were, my cousin and I we were in the States with my brother. And um, in the winter. And then he's going to call down, we're down in the basement, and ask my cousin, Did you shower? You shower already? <laughs> my cousin said, yes, Dan. <laughs> she asked me, Bishop, you show her? I said, yes, Dan. <laughs> no, we didn't like, we didn't tell him when we show. Yeah. <laughs> I shower in Guyana. <laughs> my cousin show in St. <laughs> you in that cold there? <laughs> He has if you shower, you pray to this crazy self, but you shower already. Now, that's, guess what? This was so cold. Yes. Now, this same person yeah. in a tub yes. with ice on me yeah. for one hour. Yes. I remember mean, one day I, was, yes. I, I used the, the, the bathroom, I had a shower, and I had no idea. So, you know, you turn the warm water on and so, yeah. and you shower, and then I opened the door. I didn't take my clothes into the bathroom, so I, I stepped out. In the other part of the house. I felt I would have died. I could not even put on my clothes. I had to jump in the bed and 
go and go under the shock of covers. Wow. No, the same the same person the same can go into the same body is put into a tub with ice yes. all over and spend it out. Yes. Because my thinking changed. Yes. yes. Therefore my body was affected. Yes. And I know me alone with many of the persons in our meditation class did that. Yes. I could test attest to it. That yes, I did it. Something changed. Yes, sir. Something changed. Therefore, God's system works. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. If you believe his word, no. I saw a man did something, I believed it and I tried. Yes. But if I believe the word of God, hallelujah. Yes. Then I'm changed. Yes, yes, sir. Must be so. Yes, wonderful. And let me tell you something. The Lord showed me when the Lord comes, there will be the ultimate change. Yes. yes. But every time when you believe God's word, you are changing daily. Yes. 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 We're changing daily. You see, people think the change is. The things I used to do, so I used to smoke, I stopped smoking. I used to drink, I stopped drinking. That's not a change, that's a result of faith. <laughs> Stop drinking because you're scared, you might go to hell. That's right. But we're not scared of hell because we know Christ already set in that situation. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't worry about hell. We can't go to hell. Amen. Why? Because Christ died for us. Yes. Amen. End the story. I believe that all my heart. Yes, sir. Christ paid the sin debt. The sin that was paid. Yes, that's sir. settled. Yes, sir. It is settled. Forevermore. What we need to do now is to believe God's word. Yes. You don't want to show it to script because you need to know change is possible. Amen. Wonderful. Let me tell you something. If the church believes the word of God, the powers that be will be confused because we want to know how these people, how does he not kill them? How the pandemic stops at them? Praise God. In Texas, the story is told of this guy. When the place was hit, the people's corn fields were hit with this uh, uh, pest or whatever it was, and destroyed everybody's corn. But when they came around to this guy, his corn field was, was good. Yes. So the Minister of Agriculture, anybody came out to understand, what's wrong, what you did? People even had conspiracy theories that he did something to other people's corn. He said, no, I gave, I saw in the Bible that God says, if I tithe, it's going to rebuke the devourer. Yeah. And I decide to tithe. Yes. And the devourer is rebuked from all my crops. That's yes. how it is. Yeah. So my, are you here? Yes. Yeah. So what if it was eating the corn, ate this field here, skip his field, go around and eat, start eating, yes. going so, and did not touch it. Yes. Yes. Man, God shall put a difference between you yes. and the world. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Look at someone, they said there's a difference. 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 God always does that. Always. In Egypt, the Bible yes. says, here the Bible says, there was darkness in Egypt and light in Goshen. That's correct. Yes. yes. The firstborn died in Egypt and in Goshen they lived. That's right. Yes. Because of the blood. Yes. 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 Now you have blood sprinkled on you for nothing. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses yes. us of all unrighteousness, yes. man. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And when you have faith in the blood of Jesus, the promise of God, God said, nothing shall by any means harm you. Yes, sir. You've got to believe that word. Amen. We're looking forward to the We're looking forward to Jesus coming. Yes, sir. Amen. But in the meantime, we're gonna believe this word of God and choose to believe it. Amen. This mortal will put on immortality. Yes. Amen. All of a sudden, things can't trouble you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I like to read and research. I'm the one of those ministers who read the Bible. I don't read the Bible anymore. 
they have discovered. There's a guy named Dr. Joe Dispenza. And I was reading, I'm right now I'm reading a book by Dr. Carlin Leaf. And she's a believer. Yeah. And she quoted the Joe Dispenza. I you know what she said, what the Dispenza said. 80% of all cancers are not genetic. They are caused by people's thinking. Ah, yes. Mm. I believe only 5% of those things are genetic. That happen to you is because of, gen of, of the genetics. Mm -hmm. The rest is people's thinking. Yes. Toxic thinking produces toxic environment in your yeah. body. All right, all right. Yes. If you have toxic thoughts, you will have toxic results. Yes, sir. Thank you. And one of the most toxic thought is the thought of fear. fear. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. You hear me? Yes, sir. Amen. The most toxic is fear. And if you ever succumb to fear, your body goes into all kind of crazy thing because stress, it's all about levels of stress. Stress, the first level of stress is normal and natural, is all right. That is something threatens, you get out of the way. Yes. Your body goes through a quick period of stress, you get out of the way. Mm -hmm. The stress is supposed to be over. But when your stress goes on for days and weeks and months and years, You know how stressful it is that you were told you can't walk your I looked at the Olympics mm -hmm. and to see these athletes. How when somebody wins, they run and hug up each other. Yeah. Because it's natural. Yes, yes, sir. It is natural. Yes, sir. <laughs> the human being can't. Any person will tell you, who went to prison can tell you, the most violent punishment you can experience in prison is solitary confinement. These devils, who's telling people, stay away from your relatives, stay away from this person. Yes. And it's not your government, you know, please understand, it's not your government. Mm -hmm. This is imposed on your yes, government. Yes, bigger forces. Yes. By bigger forces. Mm -hmm. And don't, don't worry about your, because if it was imposed on America, mm -hmm. That's right. when America sneezed, the whole world caught a cold. Mm -hmm. And it, it was imposed on them. Yes. On, the, on all the, the, what they call the first world nations, yes. it, was imposed, it was imposed on them. Yes, sir. It was imposed. By the powers that think they be. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So don't blame your government. Your government just following orders. Which of your scientists? has ever gone to laboratories and said, we looked at the virus, we saw it under the microscope, we see it and we see what? See, we see anything? <laughs> we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, sir. Amen. God did something with those bodies that they could have withstood fire. Yes, sir. Fire couldn't burn them. Yes. Watch for me. Oh. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. The body said, listen to me. You know God is able to deliver us. But you know he deliver us. The, the king said, hold on. I told three men in the fire. I see four. And it was not joke, joke fire. It was real fire. Because the Bible said, those who were about to throw them in, the fire threw them. So literally those boys had to walk in the fire by themselves. They were bound. The rope born off. Yes, that's right. Man, I believe the Bible, you? I know. Yeah. Amen. The rope was born off of the uh -huh. body. Uh -huh. And the boys were in the fire. Mm -hmm. Chilling up. Yes, sir. Or, or some, I believe someone was shivering. It's a little cold in here. <laughs> but somebody turned the heat up. <laughs> My God. You're telling me that 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This God who protected them from the fiery forest can't yeah. protect you from some little foolish virus. Amen. Yes, Praise Lord. God. Amen. Oh, Lord. The same God. The same God. Same God. Same God, man. Same God. Who raised Lazarus from the dead? Yes. Virus Lazarus was dead yes. four yes. days. He be, uh, he began to stink. Mm -hmm. yeah. Virus? When Jesus said, come for all them worms, everybody who was eating. Oh. Yeah. Spit it over. Then spit it back out. <laughs> oh. Then spit it back out. Yeah. Uh, you know the Bible says, he can restore with a pan, warm and calm, warm and Well, there was a situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the worms had gone to work. Yes. So Lazarus come forth. Stop. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Oh. If, he, if he had just said come forward. Yeah, the whole cemetery, cemetery coming forward. Amen. <laughs> serpent bit Paul. Yes. Yeah. It's a venomous serpent. Uh -huh. You're supposed to die. Mm -hmm. Paul put a shake down the fire. Yeah. And the serpent could have lived long, he's going to bite Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and they're looking for Paul today. Paul, you miss a beat. That's right. This is a shondoros. That's right. You don't right. understand. Listen to me. When you receive Christ as Savior, you're not the same person. Amen. Not say any man being Christ is a new creation. You need to understand. Amen. Listen to me. Yes. What they're telling people is for other people. I don't have the problem with it. I'm a new creation. Yes, yes. sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm different. Amen. I am different. Amen. And we need to understand as God's people, we are different. Yes. Yes. And your difference is manifest because you believe you're different. Yes, sir. The, word, the word of God says so. Yes. God said to Israel, put a difference between you and yes. the rest of the earth. Amen. God said put a difference. God put a difference between us. Yes, sir. And this 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 change is not just it's not an imaginary thing in the sense that you know, it's a falsehood. It's true. Yes, sir. Praise God. It is true. Yes, sir. Amen. Our brains are different. Listen to me, beloved. You ever hear God's people killing themselves? <laughs> Wonderful. We can go through stress that you can't even handle. Wonderful. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Why? Because the Holy Ghost is inside of us. Amen. And stress that can hurt other people. Mm -hmm. You know what we can do that the world can't be can forgive people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unforgiveness is one of the greatest killers. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Toxic, yes. Mm -hmm. You don't forgive, it's so toxic. Mm -hmm. And a breeding ground for cancer, yes. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. When Stephen was told, he said, Ain't not these things in charge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. We are different. Amen. If you believe in Lord Jesus Christ and believe in His Word, you are different. Yes. Hallelujah. And your Glory difference will Glory. tell. Yeah. Glory to God. I want to show you something, then. Could I end our time? The brief of the fourth one. So when this mortal shall have put on incorruption, sorry. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, <laughs> and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Yes. Oh, death. Where is thy sting? Oh, grave. Where is thy victory? You see, you need to understand. Death was the ultimate conqueror. Yes. You understand? Yes. It conquered everybody. Yes. Alexander the Great, the guys, or whoever, death conquered them. Mm -hmm. Only poison couldn't conquer was Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And so when this happened, they said, well, if we brought to pass, death is swallowing victory. Yes. That means just thing. What happened? You used to, when you killed, you used to keep them. What happened? You can't keep them no more. Because. The change takes place. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
You can imagine you're not going to die anymore. Yes, you, you, no, no, some, some of you get a stick, you didn't get a stick. Yet. You understand what's going to happen to you? You can hear this man the next minute. You... Hallelujah. You have no limits. You understand what this is? Glory to God. You understand what the Bible says you're immortal? Ah, I used to like, I like to look at those, I would call it a comic series and with X-Men and those things like, yeah, Wolverine and one of my favorite characters. They might be living for 500, 600 years in, according to the character Wolverine. You don't die. The immortal being. Or Wolverine would be a joke to you. Superman is a joke. <laughs> Superman be a joke. Hallelujah. Because at least Kryptonite could have yeah. shot out Superman. That's right. And then shot you out. Yeah. You understand? Glory to God. Yeah. Uh, listen to me. You can choose to eat or don't choose to eat. Yes. Yes. Will we be able to eat? You can choose to eat. When Jesus resurrected, yes. the Bible said he cooked fish with the guys and yeah, ate yeah. them and he ate with them. Yes. So you can choose to eat. The Bible says Abraham prepared and gave to the yeah. angels, yes, sir. the guys who visited him. He entertained them. Yeah. They ate. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. But you, when you have a glorified body, Eating is not, you don't, You can eat or don't eat, it don't make no difference. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's no food shortage for you because, <laughs> you understand, you understand what it is? Why, why God want you to hear this? Because he wants your mind to begin to even yeah. look for the expect Jesus return. Yeah. It's because most time people thought, man, this Christianity story, no, 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 please understand. It's the most glorious thing that could ever happen Hello, to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. This scientist trying to bring this thing to pass. Yes. Yeah. They're trying to get people to live forever. Yeah. They're trying to get people to, to live away where they can't get sick enough. They're fighting hard to do that. That's right. That's right. That's what they're trying to do genetic engineering, trying to do all kinds of things. Yes. Unless in a moment God goes, bam! All they're fighting to do is just look them here. Hallelujah. Look at these super beings right here. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Look, look, this. In a moment, God turned into super. You don't have no pains. You don't have what the dog, the dog is. Uh, so, who's the tongue? What are you doing? Blood test. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, <laughs> Nobody just stop to ask you here, <laughs> You think it and you think it. Oh, you understand? You yes, think it. Yes, sir. You think it. And you're there. You, it, man, I, I'll tell you the rest of the story, but joy is people full of glory. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, you'll be living on the earth. Yeah. And the people will be living also who didn't get the change. You see, you don't enjoy your change. You wouldn't enjoy your change unless you can see the eyes doing that change. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Who tried to change themselves? And then you'll be living. Because we look at the proph prophecy in scripture. But we said the nation shall run towards Jerusalem. Yes. That means there will be people. Yes. Shall run towards the new Jerusalem. We'll be living there. So there'll be people. There will be people. On your nations. 
nations. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you something, beloved. The Bible said those who look for his appearing. Yes. Don't worry about those ignorant people that tell you the Lord is not coming. He's coming. Yes. Amen. Amen. And please look for his appearing. Yes. The Lord wants you to hear these things so you can begin to look for his appearing mm -hmm. and expect him to return. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to live like the people who think, you know, some of you think, well, you know, um, the Lord's coming back, so let me do right and want to live right. That's not how we have to live. Amen. Let me explain to you. You believe Christ died for you. They believe he's coming again. Yes, sir. You're saved by grace through faith. Amen. You're not saved by your own works. Amen. So don't try to do no works now to say, you know, let me try and clean up works because so when Christ comes, I get the chance. If you do that, you're out of faith. Yes, That's sir. right. You're not doing anything now to say, you know, well, you know, I'm trying to clean my life up because let me go to church. Some people, you know, some people run the church. You know, <laughs> no, some people, out of the world, you say, you need to go to church because Christ will come. No, this is not the issue. Amen. This is because you'll come and some people be in church and get left. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> so I, I've been in church. Yeah, it, 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 that you've been in church, but church was not you. Yeah. You didn't believe Christ. You didn't believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. So the key is believe in Jesus. Believe that he died for your sin. I'm going to show you the same scripture if you continue on the part of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Hope you're blessed this morning by the yeah. 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 Yeah.